so we are in the Ojito Wilderness area today. Gonna go look for some petroglyphs. Supposed to be about a mile out and gonna be fun. Beautiful day, supposed to be 60 again today. Crazy February weather. <sighs> Beautiful. Okay. So far the trail's pretty easy to follow. It's a lot of footprints in the sand. So we're just following those. Even though we did download the trail from all trails. The Ojito Wilderness is managed by the BLM, the Bureau of Land Management. And they say that this area was a huge floodplain complex that was eventually inundated by inland seas and boasts world-renowned fossils, dinosaur, tree, plant, and marine invertebrate. And the erosion over time has exposed these bones of huge dinosaurs and segments of petrified trees, etc. Um, because these fossils provide significant information about ancient life, it's important they are left undisturbed and can only be collected by pro professional paleontologists. That's hard to say. So there, um, this is a great area to see all these incredible um, artifacts but you do not pick up or take anything. Don't move it around. There's evidence of human cultures here also, ancestral Puebloans, Navajo, and Hispanic cultures were in this area, but the harsh um, terrain, rocky soil, and scarcity of water probably contributed to them leaving the area. We have hiked the Hoodoo Trail, which is in the same area, and I will link the video above. Good boy. Okay. I'm gonna see what's up the hill here. I think we're about to where the petroglyphs are. Let's start looking for petrified wood. All kinds of cool geological stuff. So pretty here. It's sandstone now, but this was definitely an old river. Look at the wave action on the rocks. Really, really cool. petrified tree we just found. Oh my gosh. It's pretty big. Looks like another one that's broken in pieces right there too. That's a big one. Look at that. That's so cool. More petrified wood. That's another big chunk. Wow. Get over there, Ron, so we get some perspective on size. Okay. 
Okay. Now we search for the petroglyphs, which are supposed to be on the hillside over here somewhere. Oh, wow, what a view. I think these are all really old. Looks like some kind of snake and kind of some kind of. I don't think it's a man. I think it's a bird, maybe. It's infinity circles. Not sure. We got some more over here. I'll try not to step in one of these holes and break a leg. You see which one I've said I think looks real and which one looks fake? Yeah, I'm not sure. Looks like somebody built a fire over here. Hey, don't lick the camera. So, uh, hey, look up here. Look up here. Look at mom and daddy. Dude, I just lick everybody, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> goes, well, give me loving then. <laughs> if you want me to stay still, you gotta give me loving. So what do you think of the petroglyphs and the... It's a nice hike out room. here. It's, yeah, he's easy to find. <laughs> we, uh, we're sitting on petrified wood right now. There's a lot of it out here. It's really cool. And the petroglyphs were not hard to find. They're right at the end of the trail. So just keep going till you run out of cliff. What did you think of the trail? <laughs> that was good. Nice hike. You get it here. There's some... Um, looks like a little cabin ruin or something right down there. A shelter of some sort. I'm going to have to do some research and find out the... the origins of that. I don't know that it's necessarily the style of the native Puebloans from here, but who knows, but I'll check that out. Three there, one there, one there, probably a lot more. 
Ron just found some tree sap. Tree sap that's hardened like amber. Like. Yeah, it's not quite petrified, but it is pretty rock hard. That's rock. Sap. What do you think amber is? I'm just saying it's sap off the tree. There's a little piece there. And a bigger piece up there. Holy cow. Maybe we should take it home and see if there's any dinosaur DNA in it. Leave no trace. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and think about subscribing so you get more videos like this. We have lots of adventures coming up this summer. We'll be camping, hiking, backpacking, and probably in a... a throwing in a cruise or two. You never know. And as I always say, Ron, get out there and hug, hug a tree. tree. <laughs> He's hugging a tree, a petrified tree. Thanks for watching. If you do plan to come out to explore the Ojito Wilderness, be aware that there's an eight mile dirt bumpy road all the way out here and high clearance vehicles are recommended. It is definitely worth a visit if you're anywhere in the state of New Mexico. We think you should check it out. So once again, thanks for watching. Enjoy.